video finds you all very, very well. Today, I'm super excited because today we are going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup look, which I am wearing for you guys right now. I cannot believe it's literally the ending of 2020. What the heck? This year was definitely, uh, I don't even know. Like, I'm just so ready for it to be over. So much has happened in life and in my life personally this year that I just can't even process in my brain and in my head. I know for the most part, I am just super grateful to still be here today and be well, have my friends and family safe, sound, healthy. Um, I know for most people that wasn't the case and this year was definitely life changing to some of you. So just know that all of my love, thoughts, and prayers go out to every single one of you. So ready to start a new year. I'm super optimistic about it. I definitely have really high hopes that next year is going to be an amazing one for every single one of us. But with all of that being said, if you guys are interested in learning or simply watching how to create this New Year's Eve makeup look, then just please keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. I am gonna be using a moisturizer first to prep my skin. I'm gonna be using this new Glam Glow Super Water Gel Triple Acid Oil-Free Moisturizer. I've been using it for the past week and I actually really like it. The coolest thing about this moisturizer, you guys, is that it's actually made for acne-prone skin. So it's going to help your skin and moisturize, hydrate your skin as well. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation from MAC Cosmetics in the shade NC37. And I'm gonna be using a little bit of this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Syracuse. I'm not sure, you guys, but <laughs> this is the shade right here. I am gonna be using a brush to blend the foundation on my skin. This is from Be Bella. I just picked up a random brush to add my foundation with. And this one actually has been working really great. It doesn't have a number or anything. I know it came in that holiday collection. So I'm just gonna build this all over my skin. To cream contour, I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut. And then I'm gonna go in with the almond shade to highlight underneath the eye area. I'm just gonna add a little bit on the forehead and on the cheekbones. I'm going to be blending it all out with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is my favorite to blend out any liquid or creams. To set the face, I'm going to go in with Laura Mercier Translucent and Honey Powder. I'm going to be using honey to set all over the face and then translucent to set underneath the eye area. To contour my face today, I'm gonna go in with this bronzer from NARS. This is in the shade Casino. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with this Iconic Rose Face Palette and I'm gonna take the highlighter inside. Of course, I'm just gonna add a little bit to the forehead up here. And I am just pressing on the highlight. I'm really not moving the product around. For blush, I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Palatial Blush, powder blush, hopefully I'm saying that right. But this is such a beautiful peachy pink blush. I am back, so I did went ahead and did my brows, nose contour, and of course, the left side of my eye. That way we can speed this video up a little bit quicker and we can just continue on doing the right side. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this look. The first palette that I'm gonna go into is the Ornate Palette from ColourPop, and I'm gonna go into the shade Charisma. I am going to be taking a fluffy brush like this. This is more of like a highlighting brush, but I am gonna be using this to blend out and diffuse that shade all throughout the crease. I'm going to start diffusing that shade all throughout the crease, starting from that nose contour all the way through the crease. And we're gonna bring it out a little bit towards that hairline as well. 
I really want to focus the shade mainly more right here on this inner corner. I really want this look to look very smoky. Moving on to the next palette, I'm going to go in with Wine and Only from ColourPop as well. And I'm going to be taking this shade here. This shade is called Mule It Over. So this shade right here. I am also going to be using the same fluffy brush. I'm just going to be adding that to the very tip of this brush. I'm not going to swirl the entire brush all over the shadow just because we don't want that much on the brush. So just on the tip right here and I'm just dabbing the extra on my hand. And again, we're going to blend this the same way we did with that other shade right there on that inner portion of that crease and the nose contour. Okay, moving on, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop E22 blending brush and I'm going to be taking the same wine and only ColourPop palette and I'm going to be using Vinter. Vinter, which is this dark burgundy shade down here. I'm going to be taking this and adding it to the outer corner. And we're just going to be really packing this shade on and make it as pigmented as we possibly can. And I'm also going to drag this outward as well because we are going for that super sultry cat eye look. Okay, we are going to be adding a little bit of black to this look. And I'm going to go back in with the Ornate palette and take Dream, which is like a black, but also has a little bit of shimmer in there. It's so beautiful and it's actually really pigmented as well. I'm going to be taking that same blending brush and add that to the outer corner. We are going to be creating a cut crease for this look. I'm going to be taking this ColourPop E24 brush and my Cakeless Concealer from ColourPop. I'm going to be adding a little bit on the tip of the brush, not too much. And I'm going to go a little bit over the natural crease of my eyelid, as you guys can see, or crease. <laughs> and I'm also going to drag this a little bit down as well towards that tear duct. Next up, we're going to move on to a different palette. This is the Shades of Roses from Be Bella Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I literally almost poked my eye. I'm going to be taking Mi Amor from the palette, which is a glitter shadow right here. And I'm just going to pop this on the lid. Now, I am going to be using a little bit of glitter glue. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I'm going to be mixing two glitters. I'm going to be mixing this Starlight Golden Paradise Glitter, which has stars in here, and then also the J Boss Glitter in the shade Queen, which is so beautiful. This is the glitter that I created using all of the above. Going back in with Wine Only, I'm going to be taking the same shade from earlier, taking a small detail brush. I'm going to be using this to diffuse that glitter. I'm not going to move the brush around. I'm just going to pack on the shadow right on top. That way we don't move that glitter around. Next, going in with the Ornate Palette, I'm going to be taking Dream again, which is the dark black glittery shade. I'm also going to use this to diffuse that outer corner into the glitter. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the Ornate Palette again, taking Tipsy, which is the brown shade right there. And I'm going to add this to the lower lash line. For liner on the waterline, I'm going to be taking this Ambriche Draw the Line liner. I'm going to use this to also smoke the lower line a little bit. 
As you guys see here, I did create a new waterline just right here on the inner corner. So I'm going to grab the tip of this brush and just kind of go below that a little bit. And I'm gonna be taking another small detailed brush like this. I'm gonna be taking Mi Amor, which is that glittery shade from the Be Bella palette. And I'm going to add glitter right on top of that. I am gonna be diffusing now the liner underneath the lash line with this ColourPop E6 flat brush and then that Dream shade from the Cornet palette. I'm just really going to coat that lash line. That way, whenever we add the lashes, it all blends well together. So just right there on that lash line. For lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Soul Lashes in the style, the Diva. Whew. Okay, now moving on to the lips, which is the last thing to do for this makeup look. Um, I am gonna be doing a nude, which is my per usual lip combo. I'm gonna be using the NYX lip liner in Nutmeg, which I love, as you guys can see, it's so little now. <laughs> the Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced in the shade Cool Girl, and I'm gonna go in with a dose of color sand on the center to make my lips look a little bit bigger. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. That completes my last video of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Woo! Oh my gosh, I am gonna be leaving 2020 on a high note, okay? My last video of 2020 is this New Year's Eve makeup look and I'm just super grateful that you are here today watching me. I'm super grateful for you, super thankful for your time for being here, taking time out of your day to just sit here with me. So thank you, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Everything that I did mention throughout this video, of course, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys as well as my social media. That way you guys are updated with what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a very, 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 very safe New Year's Eve. Please be careful if you guys are hanging out with friends or family this year. COVID hasn't left, okay? So just keep that in mind. COVID hasn't left. Just please be mindful, please be safe, and have an amazing New Year's Eve. I am wishing you all the luck and love and happiness for 2021. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.